Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is my first vlog of 2024 and I'm so excited to just start the new year and get into a good healthy routine and I'm about to take my probiotic. One of my goals for the new year is to focus on daily habits that are gonna be beneficial in the long term rather than cutting a bunch of things out and like thinking I need to add a bunch of things into my life in like for the new year like all at once in the beginning i feel like it's all about like the small daily habits that are going to make the biggest change and i have noticed such a big difference when taking the ritual symbiotic plus which is a probiotic prebiotic postbiotic it has all three of them in there and it's really nice because you don't have to put it in the fridge or anything so you can bring it with you when you travel and it is the first probiotic that i've ever taken that actually has made me feel a difference from it. I really love it. And right now, Ritual is offering 40% off of your order if you use code 40Maggie, and I'll have it down below in the description if you guys are interested in that. Usually, it's like $54, and right now, it is $32 when you use my code. I am gonna take my probiotic right now, and I actually have to head out to a workout in like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go work out with Mike and... Uh, talk to you guys in a little bit but make sure to check out ritual if you're interested use my discount code everything will be in the description down below this is going to be a really really great year i took a little break from vlogging over the holidays well i did vlog i just don't know if i'm gonna put the footage into a video i like kind of struggled during the holidays i just feel like i don't know i was very emotional i was kind of going through a lot i feel like a lot of people deal with that during the holidays whether it's like i don't know family stuff so i was just kind of feeling lonely and i was feeling sad and yeah anyway i'm not going to get into it too much but i hope that you all had a really great holiday and an amazing new year's and it was really nice to spend time with family i went down to the cape saw my family and then we just had a chill new year's honestly i went to dinner and came home. Like it was just really relaxing. But here we are, 2024. Today is January 3rd. I feel really good. I started off the new year. Wait, which was really crazy that the first day of the new year was on a Monday, which was the first day of a new month, the first day of a new week, first day of a new year. So I was like, I don't know. I feel like it just has really good energy going into 2024. And I have worked out every single day of the year so far. I just got done with a workout with my trainer. I actually have a dentist appointment soon that I need to get ready for and head downtown. I just have a cleaning day. But I am really excited for this new year. There's a lot that is going to be going on. A lot of travel. I really want to travel more in 2024. I feel like the past few years... I have kind of just taken a step back from all that. I've really liked being home, being with my dog, just like being in my own bed and you know what I mean. But I'm like ready to get out and I really want to travel. I have a few places that I've already, that are already booked, already have a few trips in January and February, which I'm excited about. Obviously bringing you guys along for the vlogs. I miss my travel vlogs. I miss going places and... I'm excited for this year. I really want to go to Europe. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Italy. And we just have a lot going on. Also, I made a few... I always do a vision board every single year before the new year. And I do it on Pinterest. I make like a private board and I just save like a bunch of photos and stuff. Of like either places I want to go to, things I want to do, stuff like that. And then I write down personal goals and I write down work goals and i feel like i have i don't know just like a solid foundation going into the new year the past couple of days i've been using the new oak essentials like body care routine and it smells so good i use the dew body oil at nighttime i love how you just like pump it right into your hand and i use the body scrub when i do a exfoliating like full body shower but this stuff right here the awaken body wash smells so good i put this in my bath when i want to take a bubble bath but also i obviously use it as a body wash and it's amazing it smells like the mas oil of the massage the hold on it smells like the massage oil that i 
that they use at the Mandarin Hotel. I love getting massages at the Mandarin. It's my favorite place to go. And they're just like so luxurious. I love the way that you smell after and it's just like amazing. This stuff smells just like it and I love it. It smells like a spa and it just really elevates your shower routine. This stuff's my favorite right now. And oh, it just makes you feel so clean, it makes you smell so good. But yeah, I need to get dressed and head out because like I said, we're going to the dentist and getting a teeth clean. Today, this is your, so sunny, this is your reminder to book your cleaning twice a year and this is my first one of the year. So let's get ready to go do that. <laughs> Okay, little outfit of the day. I kind of want to use this bag, but I have, I literally have all my stuff in my bag downstairs right now, but I got this like a year ago and I haven't used it. Oh my God, I have the cap when I got my LASIK. <laughs> I haven't used this bag since last fall, but it's from the row and I love it and it matches my shoes. And I'm wearing and I feel like I use like the same bags all the time. Okay, this is little outfit of the day I'm just wearing a brandy tee. Brandy Melville has the best basics in my opinion and I have on these jeans. They're these pleated. I forget the name of them, but I just got them I love the top of them. You can still wear a belt with them I love like pleated baggy jeans and then I have on my adidas. This coat is from a few years ago It's the brand off-white and I love it. And then my hat is from Weekend Stories. So, oh my God, I'm on my way to the dentist. I didn't realize how close it was gonna be to my house, but my mom does my Poshmark and I feel like I clean out my closet and I get rid of like all this stuff. And then I see it on my Poshmark, but I was like, wait, why did I get rid of that stuff? Like, I actually want it. So I just called my mom. I'm like, hi. Like, I just saw a few things on Poshmark because I have, like, trips coming up. And, and I'm trying not to, in 2024, buy new things every single time I have, like, a trip or I'm going somewhere or I have, like, an event because it's unnecessary and it obviously leads to overconsumption. Like, I'm really trying to be mindful of just, like, the things that... I buy my mom was like yeah just take a screenshot of it and send it to me and I'll get you the stuff this week and I'm like oh my god thanks <laughs> because I'm like thinking about all the things that I'm gonna be doing and I'm like wait that would be so cute on my trip or you know just like picturing different scenarios and I feel like sometimes that happens where I will like clean up my closet and I'll be like I need to just get rid of everything like I'll get so I'll just go crazy clean it out and then I'm like wait why did I get rid of that or like I'll see something that I sold I'm like why did I sell that I sold this bag on the real real that I got at a consignment store a few years ago and it's like this Ferragamo I used to wear it all the time in 2019 it's like a Ferragamo black shoulder bag that had silver hardware and I don't know why I got rid of it like when COVID started I was like obviously you didn't leave the house or like do anything for months and so I was like why do I have all this stuff I feel like it just is sitting here in my closet and I like got rid of so much stuff I put together a huge bag and I sent it to the real real and I'm like why did I do that like that bag is so cute and it's like such a classic it's timeless I don't know why I got rid of it and they sold it for way less than I bought it for and I'm like it was just like such a waste and <laughs> I don't know so that's like one thing I'm working on this year is just not feeling like I need to buy something new every single time I go on a trip or every single time I have like an event. And the dress I wore on New Year's, I wore it last New Year's. I've worn it so much like, and you can style things different ways. You don't always need like a brand new outfit. So yeah, that's something I'm also gonna be like working on. I just said that like seven times. I'm like really excited. I know some people hate the dentist, but I'm kind of excited to go. I like really don't mind getting my teeth cleaned. I feel like it's such a good feeling. It's like such a fresh, I don't know. It's a fresh feeling. It makes me feel so much better. And I've always like loved the dentist. So I'm excited to go today. 
<sighs> I just need to find parking. Hopefully there's gonna be like a little parking garage. I just got back from the grocery store yesterday I went and I was thinking I'm like okay it's not the day after New Year's it's the next day so hopefully like I'll be fine and I'll be able to like get groceries because I know it gets crazy after the holidays I show up first of all it's completely packed and also the shelves were like wiped out I could barely get stuff to make dinner but I went back today and I got stuff to make dinner and dinner tonight and then dinner not tomorrow night but the next night and also just like a few little other things. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Okay, I've been really into making the egg roll in a bowl recipe. And all you need for it is ground chicken. So I got some ground chicken. I also got two packs of the coleslaw mix. And this stuff shrinks down so much when you cook it. So I like to cook it in my Le Creuset Dutch oven right here because like you can fit so much stuff inside of it. So I will cook the chicken and then you add in one or two packets. I'm gonna do two this time. I'm gonna do two this time. And you add ginger, you add garlic. Oh, I like to do green onion and cilantro, so I got some of that. And you do teriyaki sauce and it's so good. And just like a really easy healthy meal and then serve it over rice. I also got some salami and cheese. I love to have cheese and crackers all the time, just like on hand to snack on. Chicken and apple sausages, ginger, sweet potatoes for dinner tonight. I got some fish. I got halibut. And we're gonna do sauteed spinach, garlic. I like to get the peeled garlic, don't come for me. I hate like the garlic heads where you have to smash it and take it out yourself. I hate when my fingers smell like garlic. So this is super easy. I just like to buy that. And then I'm gonna do like a caper butter sauce with the fish, which you guys will see later. My camera's blinking, I need to hurry up. Butter, cilantro, green onion, like I said. I really wanna try this. This looks so good. <laughs> Gluten-free mac and cheese. Mac asked for some snacks. So this is what I got him. Little cheddar thingies from Simple Mills. I love these like Pringle dupes, some Fuego chips from Siete, these are the best, and I got a big water. Guys, I just tried the Simple Mills Pop-Ums. They're gluten-free. All the Simple Mills stuff is gluten-free. I really like their pancake mix and like the crackers and stuff, but anyway, I got these because they're new. And I just opened up the bag and they taste like goldfish. It's so crazy because I feel like usually when you get like healthy stuff like this and it's like um they try to make it taste like something else or like you know like an unhealthy snack you're like eh like it's not the same. These literally taste like goldfish. And they're so good. Also I really like the they have like a cinnamon cookie or like a cinnamon cracker and a chocolate cracker and they taste like teddy grams like all of the nostalgic snacks you would eat as a kid okay, i'm starting dinner this is what's going to take the longest i'm cooking sweet potato and i'm doing it on bake 425 for 50 minutes and i love using my little Breville oven, it does everything. It's a toaster, it's an oven, it's an air fryer. You can reheat things, you can slow cook, broil, make pizza, toast, anything. And I just love it, I use it so much and it's perfect, especially if you just obviously wanna cook like a few little things. I feel like I use it more honestly than I use my actual oven. I'm literally emotional right now. <laughs> I just sat down for a little bit I was like oh my god I need to sit and just like relax I feel like I've been running around 
all day and I just sat down and I went on TikTok. I was vlogging something and then I was like, you know what? I feel like this is boring, no one cares, no one wants to hear it and I don't know, it's like not exciting and I feel like all I do is talk in my videos and I just wanna be able to show more and I don't know. So I was like getting in my head about it and I was like deleted the clip I just vlogged and I go on TikTok and I got tagged in like five or six comments in the past hour and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like what is going on? And I got tagged in this video, this girl, posted a video and said, can you recommend me some YouTubers who just vlog in their house and don't do anything besides talk about random things and it feels like you're on FaceTime with your BFF. And I got tagged in this video so many times and it like makes me so emotional because I've been in my head so much about just like different things about my videos and stuff going into the new year. And I need to really work on this because I feel like it doesn't really matter. You know, like I... All that matters is that I'm showing up and I'm being myself and I'm being honest and authentic and real and that's, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's all that you can really ask for from somebody. Like, I don't know, I just feel like I beat myself up over things so much. I'm like, well, I need to be traveling and I need to be like doing exciting things and like leaving my house more and like showing things around Boston because like this is what I do for a job and I just need to like make my content more interesting and then I go on TikTok and I got tagged in that video so many times and people were like saying the sweetest things about me and saying that my vlogs are very comforting and that you've been watching my videos for years and that you feel like you're on FaceTime and besties when you watch my vlogs. <laughs> And I'm like getting so like, I don't know, I'm like getting emotional and I really appreciate that so much. Like it made my night and yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys what I was going to say before because I was like, is this boring? Like, am I boring you? But I got a few new candles for Christmas and I'm just really excited about them and they've been making my house smell so good and I just really love them. The first candle is in my bedroom and this one... <sighs> The vanilla from Diptyque. I've never smelt this one before, but it is so good. Diptyque candles, I know that they're pricey, but they're honestly so worth it. They don't give me a headache. They're like one of the only candles that don't give me a headache. And they make your room smell so good, but they're not overpowering. And they burn really nicely. And the cups are also really cute that you can reuse them. Like I reuse all of mine for everything in my house. I use them to organize my makeup, my makeup brushes. You can like put it on your desk and put like pens in it. You can put lip balms in it, like whatever you want. So this candle is my absolute favorite. And then in my bathroom, I just got this other one from my team and it's from Flamingo Estate. Oh my God, this is the best smelling candle I have ever smelled my whole life. You can really see, hold on, let me shine my light and see if you, we can see. Okay, yeah. This is the notes for the candle. Bergamot rose and pink peppercorn. And it's so good, I love it so much. And honestly, even when it's not burning, like it just smells so delicious. And I don't even know how to describe it. It makes me just like so happy. So I have this one in my bathroom right now. I really wanna order another one for my office. So these candles have just been bringing me so much joy. I also, rearranged this little area in my bathroom i put this little wooden tray and i just think it looks really cute we have like all the bath salts and stuff over there and i just love it <laughs> i love it so much so yeah those are like little things that have just been bringing me joy and i just feel like sometimes you don't realize how your words affect people good and bad and i just feel like this is a lesson for me to when i feel something about somebody tell them like even if it's as little as you like somebody's outfit if you see them on the street or you think their hair looks really good or you love their sneakers like just giving somebody a little compliment like that can really make 
their day and I feel like really turn things around for them. And I just feel like we need to spread more kindness in 2024 and just be graceful with yourself also. I feel like during the new year, it's really easy to get caught up in like thinking about everything that you need to change and all these things that you want to work on for yourself with like health and fitness and personal goals and stuff like that, which I think are great. But also I think it's important to remind yourself that we're all human and you don't need to like drastically change your whole entire life and do anything crazy and restrictive and I don't know. I feel like sometimes the holidays can be, or like this time of year, the holidays that just passed and then New Year's can be like an overwhelming time for people. And I think it's important to, like I said, just be kind and just be present and take a step back. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was like feeling so weird and kind of just like overthinking everything that I was filming today and then I was like filming things and then deleting it and just reading those comments on TikTok just really made me feel so much better and it made me feel like less alone because there are people out there who I wouldn't have known that like my videos affect affected them that much you know what I mean Sometimes it's hard to realize because I am just like filming and recording myself and talking to a camera and then uploading it to YouTube and I just like see a number. So sometimes it's like a nice reminder that there are like actual people watching who care about what I have to say. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like emotional. I've been like doing a lot of like reflection and ah, uh, yeah. While I do think it's good to like be self-aware and like reflect on things, I also think it's like sometimes can be a problem when you are just like overthinking everything. I feel like that's been me. I've been like overthinking a lot lately and it's been hard. Also, I really want to go to, that's something I wanted to do today. I want to go to studs and I want to see if I can change out my earrings because it's been... I got them done in October. It's been a few months and I really want to put a hoop. Like a little huggy. Because my hair always gets caught in these earrings. And that's something I wanted to do today, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a lemon, a lemony caper sauce for the fish. I need to get a cheese grater. One thing I will not do is mince garlic. I feel like it's so much easier if you have like a little garlic press. Graydon is so good at cutting it. Like he always just like minces it up. I'm so lazy. I'm like, I just used my little mincer and call it a day. And we're gonna add everything into a little bowl for the sauce, which we're not gonna cook until after the fish is done. I'll show you, but we're gonna get, we're gonna get a little bit of lemon zest. Okay. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna just add the juice from this whole entire lemon into this bowl. I need four tablespoons, half a stick of butter. I'm just gonna divide it into like four little cubes. Okay, then I'm gonna add like a teaspoon of capers in here and just mix everything up. I'm gonna let this sit while we cook our fish. And I just prepped the fish. I patted it dry and then just added salt and pepper, like super simple because we're really gonna let the sauce kind of be the star of the show. And I'm gonna heat up the pan to cook the fish. I'm not gonna start the spinach yet just because it literally takes two seconds. But I also cleaned my pans and they look so good. I used Barkeeper's Friend. If you have stainless steel pans and you wanna keep them looking brand new and really shiny, I highly recommend getting Barkeeper's Friend. I have some saved on my Amazon and also get a pair of rubber gloves. It's a game changer and you just add a little bit. Next time I clean them, I'll show you guys. 
but you add some into your pan, you let it sit for a few minutes, and then you like make it, add a little bit of water to make it like a paste, and you scrub it with these little like wool, stainless steel wool sponges, and they look brand new. So I'm gonna let this heat up for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to sear our fish on both sides for like three to four minutes. And this is how to check if your pan is ready when the water like dances around <laughs> the stainless steel pan, it makes it non-stick. And you want it to like bubble like that. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Okay, I added in a whole box of spinach with some olive oil and then once the fish is done and the pan looks like this, also look at how good it looks, it's perfect. I'm gonna take our little mixture and we're gonna add it into the pan. One little cube of butter and I'm gonna put it on like a low heat. And we're just gonna scrape all the little brown bits off the bottom because that's where you're gonna get a lot of flavor. I'm just gonna let this butter melt. Okay, it smells so good. And to finish off the potato, well, I added some butter in there, but I'm gonna add some Maldon salt. Hi. <laughs> I was just running around my house trying to find my camera. I'm like, where's my vlog camera? But I'm getting ready for bed. I just ordered some toothpaste on GoPuff. Took my magnesium, all of my little nighttime supplements, and I'm ready to get ready to go to sleep. Get up bright and early tomorrow and go for a run. <laughs> I got this new charger. Finally, I got one of the long chargers because when I got the new phone, it obviously comes with like the short one. And I'm just so used to having like one of the extra long ones. And this one's kind of cool. Like the new chargers, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but if you have the new phone, you'll know that they're like rope almost. Maybe because like the other ones kind of, you know, when they would like break. This one like won't break, but I really like it. It's like a game changer when you're laying in bed on your phone because it reaches so far and I used to have to like sit like hunched over like on, off my bed and my bed is already has like a big space between like, you know, this thing. So it just made it hard anyway to begin with. I feel like so good right now because i've been <sighs> i've worked out every single day since the start of the year i mean it's only been three days but like three days in a row and tomorrow what's tomorrow thursday yeah tomorrow i'm running and then friday i have a workout with mike saturday i'm running and i'm pretty sure my running schedule right now mike wants to do oh i didn't even say it in this vlog I mentioned it on Instagram in my Q&A, which I know not everybody follows me on Instagram, but I'm going to start doing weekly Q&As on my Instagram. And I did a Q&A a couple of days ago when I just answered all your questions, talked about some goals that I have for 2024. And one of my goals is that I want to run a half marathon and I want to run the Boston Marathon in 2025. So Mike... I actually have to look through before I go to bed. He texted me earlier and I have to send him a few different like 10Ks and half marathons before May because we are training right now. So yeah, I want to run a half marathon before May and I'm going to be documenting it. I don't know how yet, but after I posted that on Instagram, I got a few DMs being like, can you document this? Or like, are you gonna document it? And I'm definitely gonna be talking about it on YouTube and I kinda wanna like start doing TikToks about it too. So I'm excited about that and I'm just excited to like have something to work towards because I mean, I feel like my workout routine, like I work out with Mike and I do personal training and then I sometimes go to Pilates or I'll go on walks or I'll go to the gym and I don't know I just like really want something to like work towards and have like a goal and be able to like accomplish something <laughs> like I just feel like I need that right now 
and I feel like it'll be really good for me. Also, I feel like I have never, I mean, I don't really talk about this, but my, when I was growing up, like I played competitive ice hockey since I was really little and my whole entire life I was just like always playing competitive sports and then I went to college and I was like I don't want to play anything anymore like I kind of just want to like do something completely different and that's when I started YouTube but basically I just need something to do and I need something to accomplish <laughs> so that's my goal for this year and I'm very excited okay well I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna get ready for bed but I will talk to you guys in the morning. <laughs> Look at this baby. Hi, Kizzy. It has been quite the day. I honestly didn't really have the best day, but the sun is about to go down right now and I am gonna go for a run because I promised myself that I would do it and I also told Mike that I would do it this morning also when we were texting about it, but it's 504, 37 degrees and it's windy and it's cold, <laughs> but we're gonna go get it done because I know that it's gonna make me feel so much better after. And I was planning today to go to Lululemon and get some running clothes. I like don't have any running clothes and like stuff to like run in outside. I like running outside way more than I like running on a treadmill. So that's gonna be my goal for tomorrow. Not my goal, but like on my list for tomorrow. I need to get like warm clothes. I'm wearing a long sleeve and then I have on this little jacket over it and then I'm just wearing a little set with socks and I'm gonna put on some gloves and I'm just gonna go get it done because I feel like I can't make excuses and I'm gonna feel so much better after and I feel like it's gonna make my mood a lot better. I'm gonna just go through and do my little warm up that he sent me. It's just like a bunch of stretches and stuff and today's run is two miles. So I did, Tuesday I ran a mile, Wednesday I worked out with Mike, today's Thursday, and I'm running two miles today. And then I have another workout with Mike tomorrow. So that's been the schedule for this week, and then I'm gonna run again on Saturday. But anyway, enough of my ranting. I'm gonna do my warm up. I'm gonna go heat up the sauna also while I'm running so I can come home and sit in there for like 20 minutes and warm up and it's really good for muscle recovery and all of that. We're gonna go out and we're gonna get it done. But if you needed a little bit of motivation or anything in your life, hopefully this can be the motivation because although if you're not having a great day, I feel like it's important to keep the promises that you make to yourself and it's okay to feel the way that you feel, but a majority of the time getting out and moving your body is gonna make you feel so much better after. <sighs> okay, we're done. That was really difficult just because of how like windy it was, but I got back and I sat in the sauna for 30 minutes and it just felt so good to be like warm after doing that and I just lit a candle. I'm gonna take an Epsom salt bath right now and try to warm myself up a little bit more. I wish that I had like a hat when I was running. I feel like that definitely would have made me like feel better because it started to like hurt in my ears. But it's okay, we got it done and I'm just proud of myself for doing it. So I tracked my run today on the Nike Run Club app, which is free if you are looking to get into running this is my first time using it so i ran two miles in well i don't want to talk about the time that much and focus on time it was 19 minutes 58 seconds 
and my first mile that I ran a couple of days ago was nine minutes and that's like after not running for like a really long time I also don't want to focus on time because I feel like I I don't know I don't want to focus too much on the time it's more about like getting out there and doing it for me rather than like the pace since I am like just starting out right now but anyway I can't wait to get into this bath it feels like I was in the sauna and I wasn't even sweating as much as I normally do because my body was so cold but I'm gonna add a few scoops of Epsom salt just to help with like muscle soreness and stuff and I also haven't worked out five days in a row in I can't even tell you guys how long like I feel like when I would work out I would do like two three days a week maybe four and I haven't worked out like five days in a row in a really long time so that's another thing that I just want to focus on like hydration eating healthy getting really good sleep and obviously taking care of my body and recovering so I'm like very grateful that I just sat in the sauna and Obviously gonna get in the bath right now. I'm gonna add some of my favorite body wash. Just to add some bubbles. It's getting hot in here. We haven't seen each other in two weeks and it's been the longest time oh, 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 that we've gone with seeing each other. No, it's been longer. Yeah. In the summer, bitch, I never see you. We've gone like a month. Yeah, but I feel like, really? No, we haven't. Not last summer. Can I open this? It's freaking hot. Yeah. Emma's on her way over too right now. She got extensions and they look really good. <laughs> and it makes me want to grow up my hair. I was just telling Graydon, he's like, what are some of your resolutions? Or like, what's on your vision board? And I was like, I really want to grow up my hair this year. Well, last year was pretty long. It was like down to here. You want to pass your boobies? Yeah, I want like here again. Mm -hmm. I haven't had long hair like that since like 2018. Oh, Graydon is making salmon bowls for us. And uh, look at this slaw. It looks so good. I'm like, and he made it with like a spicy mayo. And we're doing avocado. We have seaweed. Some green onion, rice, and cilantro. Cilantro. A lot of green going on, but that's a good thing. I need more green. Cool. Yum yum yum. Yeah, let's sit at the table. Emma, you want a little fork? Yeah. <gasps> Can I show my vlog your hair? Oh, I thought you were saying my <laughs> meal. I was like, not that. That's ugly. <laughs> Stand up and do a little 360 for us. Love. Oh my god, I love it, Emma. Love. What color would you call that? Bronze? I have no idea. I've never done my no hair. I have no idea what color I'd call it. It's like a mix between brown and blonde. Is it balayage? No, it's just my like natural hair color, but she just like matched it so good. She's literally magic. Guys, I just wanted to say good morning. It's like 20 degrees today. We're getting a storm this weekend, a snowstorm, and I'm very excited for it. I've been like waiting for snow. We haven't had any so far this year. So yeah, but today is January 5th. I can't believe it's already the 5th, it's so weird. But going into workout with Mike, today's day five working out, I feel really good. And I think yesterday doing the sauna and that Epsom salt bath after my run really helped a lot because I'm feeling great today. I woke up like ready to go, well rested, ready to work out. So, oh. so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna get it done an hour and talk to you guys after. She's so strong. Nice, good job. On her little runner era, her little r r running batty era. Maggie, you ready to run a half marathon? Yes. Yeah, I'm just telling y'all right now, she about to run this half. She about to run a marathon. What's today? What's today's date? January 6th, 5th? I don't even know what day it is. But within a few months, Maggie gonna be standing with her little medal. 
<laughs> Good job. Ooh, okay, we just got done. Ready to go home and drink a coffee. <laughs> Sometimes I really honestly like waiting until after my workouts like I feel better when my energy from my workouts is coming Like from within not from coffee You know, so I'm excited to go get a coffee right now or go make one at home and Make some breakfast oh, Today's Friday and Emma wants me to go to the Game with her tonight. I need to figure out like what I'm even doing and like you know, I don't know, I feel like it's been, this week has just gone by so quick. But I'm glad that I just got a workout in. I'm glad that I did five workouts this week. And Mike was like, I was under the impression that I was gonna run tomorrow. And he was like, oh, just rest. All I want you to do is rest and just walk, like not even on an incline, just walk, flat surface. And I was like, okay, cool, I can do that. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and it just feels nice because it's gonna be a snowstorm well i was talking to him about it and he was saying that at first it was gonna be a lot but now they don't know if we're gonna get like six inches and it's gonna be like slushy which i'm hoping it's a lot i've been waiting for snow i feel like and i've just been i don't know like especially like a sunday snowstorm you can like be at home and be cozy and like cook yummy food and like just be inside and light candles. <laughs> I don't know, just create like a vibe. But I feel good after that workout. I feel good that I stretched and did it and moved my body. And now honestly, like working out this many days has been so motivating to keep going. Like I don't know, my body just feels so good i feel like i haven't really been in a workout routine like this in a really long time and i love it i want to start doing more like incorporating different workouts too like i want to start going back to soul cycle and obviously i love core power and pilates so right now i'm just trying to get into like a good routine for the week and see what I like and stuff so yeah <laughs> okay I'm gonna make a little post-workout smoothie I've been really loving a smoothie in the morning I feel like I say that all the time but I just I don't know it makes me feel the best I can add so much stuff into it like a bunch of nutrients and I feel like it just gets it all in at once and sometimes I don't feel like eating a lot in the morning but I've been loving starting out with spinach to get in some greens because I feel like it just starts me off on like the right foot in the morning. And to be honest, like, I don't know. I feel like I have been kind of slacking on eating greens in the winter. So I like to put them in the smoothie in the morning. And then I'm just adding some frozen banana. I like to kind of switch it up with like the fruit that I do. Sometimes I like to do strawberry banana. Sometimes I do blueberries. Right now, I've been really into mango. I just feel like it just tastes so fresh. <laughs> I was like, uh, there's nothing left. Now I can throw that away. Okay, we're going to do some almond milk. You can do almond milk or sometimes I like to do coconut water. I don't have any right now, but coconut water is like my favorite to put into a smoothie. It's super hydrating. And I feel like that's good, especially after a workout. Oh, I also added ground flax and some hemp seed. We're gonna add in some protein. I like this one by New Zest. You can get it. I just order mine on Amazon. And this one's the vanilla. I like the way that this tastes. I normally don't really like the way that protein tastes. But I do like this one a lot. And it has really clean ingredients. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. I just got to Newberry 
and I'm gonna go pick up a few things. I'm gonna run a few errands. I was like, you know what? I feel like it's not gonna be that busy. It's Friday night, 4.39. Like the sun is already setting right now. So I'm like, okay. It's gonna be probably the least busy right now, which is good because I kinda wanna just like be in and out and wanted to be able to find parking. It is freezing though. It looks like I'm wearing like <laughs> a ski mask or something. I have on like this Jenny Kane sweater turtleneck sweater my hat this like big fluffy coat from aloe and we're all bundled up we have a few stops to make lululemon brandy melville and i did want to go to rothy's i i did want to go there because i wanted to try on a pair of shoes guys just got home and ate dinner i made ribeye tonight with an arugula salad with a olive oil balsamic lemon salt pepper dressing just like super simple and i put it shaved parmesan on top and then we did ribeye and the jovial mac and cheese it's like gluten-free dairy-free it was pretty good honestly for like a box mac and cheese i haven't had box mac and cheese in forever and i was just craving it something like that so that was really good but i want to show you guys quickly what i got from brandy melville i ended up going to brandy melville and i got a ton of basics that's where i basically got all my basics this little black top right here is from brandy and i'm just like always reaching for them also, my shoes are like everywhere. I need to tomorrow go downstairs in the front closet and take all my shoes out of there and bring them upstairs. Cause like all my sneakers, I'll take them off of the door and I'll just leave them all in the closet. And I feel like my closet's just like a mess from the holidays and everything. But yeah. Oh, also I sorry, my camera literally just died <laughs> mid sentence. I had to run all the way back downstairs and get a battery. <sighs> okay, I want to show you guys what I got from Brandy and Lululemon. I got a few other things this past week that I'll show you as well. These jeans are my favorite. They're from R13. And they're just like a baggy pleated jean. I love these. I need to get them taken in on the waist. So... I'm gonna leave them out here. I also don't really know where to set you guys up so it's like a good angle. I guess we'll go into my room. I got two things earlier this week from Hermes. I got a pair of sandals that are fluffy, burnt orange, red, and I love them. So I got these. I also got a belt the black and gold kelly belt which they had to ship to me so that's gonna be coming in in a few days probably early next week and then i got these from Saks. they were having a sale and look at these loewe heels they're blue i don't have i literally don't own a colored heel i only have black <laughs> so i thought that these were so fun i have a few trips coming up so i decided to get those Plus, they were more than half off, so I was like, you know what? I kind of just felt like I had to get them. And then I also got these pants from The Row, which are just like a pleated trouser. And these were, they were like way more than half off as well. So I got those two things from the sale at Saks. Oh, wait, now everything that I got, Lululemon, Brittany Melville, what I went to Newberry for was for Lululemon. So we're gonna start off with that. I got, oh my God, Swiftly Tech long sleeve. I used to wear these all the time, like in college, my early college years. I was like obsessed with the Swiftly Techs and I would wear it all the time to class with my leggings. And I feel like I just haven't bought one of these in so long. So I got a gray one, perfect for running and layering. And then I also got this little headband, which now that I'm looking at it, I know that it came in different sizes. It's like one of the ones that you like wear over your ears 
to like keep your ears warm and then we have this jacket right here which is called the oh cross chill jacket this jacket is meant for cold weather running and i didn't try any of this stuff on i was like so bundled up and i was like you know what if it doesn't fit I'll just go back tomorrow and I will exchange it for a different size in the morning rather than having to take everything off and try it on. Okay, yeah. I love that. And then I got a pair. Oh, I also got this. The Restless Pullover. It's like a thick, just like little black pullover. And then we have the Fast and Free High Rise Fleece Tight. Fast and free are my favorite leggings for when I'm running or if I'm doing soul cycle. So I got, a, I already have a pair of just like plain black ones. I was like, I don't really think I need another pair of black ones yet. Like I can just like wear the ones that I have and wash them. So I decided to get a fleece pair for winter. They're like a little bit thick and perfect for running so that's everything i got from lulu and then i went to brandy because it was like right next door and i picked up a bunch of basics honestly like this bag is full of stuff i'm wearing a brand new level t-shirt right now i wore one a few days ago like i'm always wearing their basics they're very inexpensive so if you're looking for just like good t-shirts check out brandy melville i got this like cozy gray long sleeve and then i also got it in short sleeve 18 dollars Looks like that. And then I got a navy blue t-shirt. What's this one? Oh, I really liked this one for Pilates. It's like, you can wear a cute little bra underneath and like wear it off the shoulder. A little plain white tee. This would even look cute over a bikini. And like with a pair of like white beachy pants or something like that. White t-shirt, maroon stripe t-shirt oh my god these are my favorite socks i'm actually wearing a pair right now they're the little heart socks they're five bucks i got a blue pair i got a red pair these are like the ankle ones i got two ankle pairs and then oh, these are the ankle and these go a little bit higher oh and then last but not least these are my favorite sweatshirts i have one right here actually in my laundry pile navy blue and it says naples and i got one in maroon that says Austin. I didn't need it, but it was there, so I grabbed it. Oh, and then I also went to this other store across the way, Intimissimi. I don't know how to say it. And I got their Ultra Light with cashmere. That's what it says. It's just like a little top that's like kind of see through. And I just thought this was cute with like for layering you know yeah that's everything that i got did i need all this stuff from brandy no but i'm excited about my lululemon finds and i'm excited to <laughs> wear all that stuff running i keep getting dms from people being like what's your favorite running sneakers like what do you recommend and honestly like i have no idea i have hokas i don't even know which hokas i have but I don't know if I'm like a huge Hoka fan, but if you're a runner and you have any recommendations of like brands, let me know. I also followed this girl on TikTok and she said that she likes these sneakers from Brooks. I forget which ones they are, but they're the Brooks brand. And if you have like recommendations on like which sneakers are the best, let me know. Also, if you just have any like tips or anything or just like any gear that you like or like clothing that you love to wear, you love to run in, let me know in the comments i would greatly appreciate it but anyway i'm gonna clean up and i need to like organize my life and get all this stuff put away and i'm gonna go sauna and take a bath and i'm gonna end off this vlog here but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm so excited for 2024 and i'm just excited for the new year and just to see what this year has in store and yeah so thank you guys all so much for watching. Also stay tuned. I am going to do like a weekend vlog of the snowstorm, the first snow in Boston. I'm so excited. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the future vlogs. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.